All right, here we are again. Uh, as always, I'm checking in on my esports team during this school closure time as they play from home. And today we've got four uh, kids in Tristan's world. Tristan, the uh, name right under mine, is the one who's hosting this world. And then everybody else is coming in whenever he uh, hosts and when they can, and they build together. They're participating in the Minecraft COVID-19 building challenge uh, known as the Dream House. They're building their Dream House. And we've got Brooke, Logan, and Ethan joining uh, Tristan. And let me check real quick, see if anybody else is having a problem. Uh, sometimes kids try to join and can't. Uh, sometimes they keep trying and then they get in. Other times they just have to do something else because it's just not going to work. Uh, this is an issue because we're not all on the same network. But let's see what's changed since the last time we were here. The tree houses look the same and the tank looks the same. I uh, tried their levers and see that it does this. And I don't really know why, but that's one of the things they put there. Oh, look, Sarah joined the game. Excellent. We've got another one. Uh, and that's about all I can see that we can do. Now, this is a new addition. They put uh, a rail system that used to be just, whoops, just here, and as I recall last time, I think it was just Tuesday, two days ago, it just went around in a circle, whereas now it seems to be going through the house. All right, let's uh, jump in. Hey, come back. Oh, I'm in. All right, so this is the tour that you get when you get on a cart you get to go through the whole house now I gotta say if I had a house that I built myself and I could have a, a roller coaster ride through the house yeah why not that would be awesome okay that was a little fast and look they even put that big red thing there to uh, stop you <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so that's their newest addition uh, since last time I was here. Ooh, what are they talking about? Are we building a house or a base? I want to do the first floor. I don't know, but you can do the first floor if you want. The roof is uneven. Are we really going to keep the roller coaster? I don't know, do we? Uh, I think the roller coaster is kind of fun. I'm putting in my two cents worth. All right, so they've got a roller coaster. Let's take a tour through the inside, shall we? Okay, so we're back in here. They still got those two fireplaces there. It's odd. Uh, yeah, they have to work on this. This is very open and doesn't have much seems to have a kind of a bar looking area there and there's not much you can go upstairs and the upstairs area is a little more developed it looks like it's got some nice carpet it's got a refrigerator and places to eat this looks lovely it looks like it's got some sinks as we saw last time it's got that beautiful fireplace there um, but very open. Now if you look up, you've got this uh, lovely chandelier and then this one, which looks a little more rustic. And they've got lanterns here, so there's lighting. Um, I like it, but I don't know, it seems like there should be more. So the second floor is a little more developed than the first floor, but still missing something. 
Now here's what's unique. You've got a way to get down here and when you go follow that you go into just a little room. Logan built this little room for himself. That's interesting and this I don't know what it is it's either a teeny tiny bathtub or a toilet I, I don't know. Um, but I'm sure that's something that will hopefully come up when they record their tour. And then another thing is uh, you can't jump out of here. You literally have to fly to get out and to reach the stairs. Yeah, that's... Hmm. I'm seeing that as kind of a design flaw, and I would like to see that uh, better developed. There's Tristan. All right, and then when you go down this way, this one, at least Tristan uh, lets you know, this is his room, Tristan's room. His is a little bigger, and he's got a chest with a lot of cookies and a lot of melon. I find that very amusing. And he's got a bunk bed. I didn't know you could do a bunk bed. And then he's got this uh, little hallway there. Oh, I like the way he's got those recessed lanterns. And I guess this is his showering area. When you go into his shower, you, you're in water. With bubbles. And, uh, yeah. It's, I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, let's see. I thought it's for when we record the house for the thing we go on that record it. It kind of was for that. It was right there. Why? So once you're here... Now I love the way the water isn't flowing in here. I don't know how they do that. But maybe the bubbles has something to do with it. Must be an enchantment. And I found out that in last week's recording when I saw that ghost block chasing me around, it was one of my students, Anya, she took an invisibility potion and she was invisible. But the block she was holding wasn't, so it was weird. It was like a ghost. Uh, let's see if one of my students is... Nope. Let's check and make sure nobody's having problems. Nope, everything's looking good. And we now have Tristan, Brooke, Logan, Ethan, and Sarah. Wesley's not here. Noah's not here. So we're missing a few. And Avery's doing PvP, so she's not here. Alright, so we see that Tristan has his room. Logan has his room. Nobody else has a room. I wonder why. Alright, let's close this up. So, oops. Oh, rats. I broke something. Oh, dear. hate it when I do that. <laughs> Maybe they'll see it and fix it. I don't know what it was I broke. Oh, I wonder what they're doing there. Yeah. Oh, a TV. Very nice. So there's some cooperative building going on. I really like when they work together. Uh, it's really cool. All right, so we saw they have a rail system for the tour, but it kind of goes too fast. Having the roller coaster for the tour is a good idea, but can it be slowed down? It's too fast. For the tour, flying around should be, uh, or sh I should say, should work very well. Yeah, they agree. That's what I say. 
All right, so it looks like what we have here is a two-story building with a couple of rooms underground. It's a lot of house for two people. I wonder if anybody else is going to make a room. And somebody said something about the roof being uneven, that it needs some fixing. And if that looks like the main fireplace, I wonder why those other two fires are right by the entrance. This. Oh, I didn't see this earlier. But I had seen something else. Where was it? That was rather interesting. Whoa. Okay, that's new. Are those some kind of redstone blocks or something? Oh, there was something here I saw earlier and it's gone. They changed it. Yeah, I think it was right there. It was like, you walk in, you fall down this water tunnel, and then when you hit the bottom, it shot you back up. I thought that was interesting, and now it's gone. So, yeah, a lot more can be done here. I'm very curious to see where they go with it all. And the front is nice with all the windows, but the rest is rather plain. Um, so guys, if you watch this video, those are some of the thoughts. I hope you're uh, keeping track of some of the thoughts I'm having for improvements you could make. And uh, let me repeat some of them. Oh, there's Wesley. Good. He joined the game. So Tristan likes my idea, or he's okay with it. Um, so, okay. Two stories, uh, very open spaced. It needs more. Uh, again, and, and is this a house for just two people? Because only Logan and Tristan have rooms, and it's interesting that your rooms are in the basement kind of because they're underground and then you've got those two stories which uh seem like wide open spaces living spaces i mean having the roller coaster go through it is definitely unique uh i, I think it gives your house kind of a fun element remember you're building your dream house what is it that you want and if it's for the whole team of, of those of you who are doing this challenge, do you each get a room? Uh, do you each get to design a part of it? And I, I love the way you're, you're communicating and working together. That, definitely keep doing that. Because um, as you do something, you should communicate to the group what it is you're doing. But like, this has like, huge uh, high ceiling and I love the chandeliers but again is this just looks like a kitchen area a big fireplace and in order to enjoy it you have to sit right there oh there's a door I can't open it what is in there And I mean, things don't need to have a purpose, but when you go through the tour, it's nice to say, and this is our seating area to enjoy. I don't know what. I thought it was a fireplace, but it's looks like a fireplace with a door. And this looks like a kitchen, I'm assuming. Looks like it's got sinks and stovetop area. But yeah, where do people live? Underground? And that's okay. It's your concept. But uh, do we need more rooms for the rest of you? Should everybody have their own underground room? I mean, that's pretty cool. So you've got this house. And the first floor. I think I saw an entertainment area. Yeah, that Ethan and Brooke were working on. Wow, that's coming along very nicely. See, this is what I'm talking about add more stuff. What's this corner going to be? 
and what's going to happen here in the middle. So those are just some thoughts that uh, an observer has coming into your your dream home. Oh, I wonder what Tristan's working on there. And my other thought, as I was mentioning earlier, is, yeah, what can we do about this? Because the front has all those cool windows. Well, why doesn't the rest of it? And then that little water fall, slide, tunnel that was there. That was cool. I enjoyed the ride. Um, somebody took it away. Ooh, Logan's talking about his tank. Yeah, so it was a tank. I knew it. And so, Logan, why is there a tank next to the tree houses in front of your group's t dream home? Um, I mean, I'm not, I don't know, for, for the tour, I think, and it's just my opinion, that everything should have a purpose or a reason, and not just because, well, in my dream home, I want a tank. Why? Uh, treehouse, I get. They're fun. Ooh, and is the treehouse for everyone? Or is it, uh somebody's treehouse. These are just details that I think would uh, add to your dream home and make the tour more interesting. Oh, look at that. You got a bookshelf. You got places to sit. That's cool. There we go. So that's number one. This one, I don't see any way to get up except for flying. Bad. Bad. Okay, guys, what does that mean? What is this for? Do something with it. So yeah, I hope this doesn't stay like this. So it's May 14th. Uh, you got a couple of weeks till you have to do your final tour. Um, So you got some time. Oh, what's going on here? What's Wesley doing? Are you making your own room? Whoa, yeah, lava. Did Is that a bat? Okay. Well, this is cool. It's kind of cramped. Uh vertically yeah so <laughs> that's okay but cool so Wesley seems to be making his room and I don't know what Tristan's working on there but it looks kind of cool ooh what's this don't know did he say something nope so yeah so that's how they're doing with their dream house uh, build. So everything looks okay. We've got a group of kids in here. Uh, with that, I'm happy to say they're doing okay. And this is Al Gonzalez for Chimicum Esports signing out.